Welcome back. Let's take a look at the quiz problem that was generated from a game I previously played. Um, sometimes Shogi Wars does generate these based on my playing a move and the better move being, or at least Shogi Wars is recommended better move being some other move. So here I played one of these two moves, the other one's better. I certainly wanted to attack on the left wing. I didn't think this did anything at the moment, because if my pawn takes, bishop takes, they can move up the silver and drop a pawn. This looked pretty foolhardy in the game, however, um, I took the bishop, and then I didn't have anything remaining to defend my king. So I'm thinking that this pawn advance is actually better it's kind of a pass, a do-nothing move. Whereas taking the bishop is greedy and gets me close to getting mated. So yeah, I saw this. Didn't think it really did anything, but my king has time to start running. Oh, and then I could push this edge. I mean, maybe with the pawn in hand. Maybe that does something. The game ended up looking something more like this. Um... Where, yeah, I had to block the check. If I had started running, the opponent would start dropping more pieces, like a pawn and a silver and such, and I would just get surrounded in all of it. And that's kind of how the game went. And yeah, at this point I could still try exchanging pawns and generating an attack, but it's pretty rough. Anyway, uh, with that introduction, well, let's get started. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. My chat device is rebooting in the background, so don't mind that. So since we started with a quiz problem, we have to wait a second for the app to load. But now we've sought a game, we'll find an opponent, and we'll play some 10-minute games until the daily reset happens. So we're waiting, waiting, still waiting for an opponent. Hmm. Unfortunately, since we did the quiz problem to open the video, all right, here we go. I can't exactly cut this part. Good luck. I'm still loading my chat window in the background, so that's perhaps why I'm distracted. Or it might seem distracted. Um, it's okay. They're offering a bishop exchange. Last time we did something similar... Oh, goodness. Yeah, gold up is the right move, and then a silver next is not a bad idea. But our opponent was quite intent on making this exchange, and they've made it. Uh, was knight takes appropriate? Why did they sit there for a second? Alright, so let's go. Ah, thanks. I can see my chat window finally. So I see Alexi pointing out that I would not be without pawn in hand should I do that exchange. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be rough. We'll do our best. Um, less. Wait, am I confused? I'm reading in the chat room. It says, you won't be Fugire. I'm assuming Fugira refers to not having a pawn in hand. Oh, our opponent. I see, you're questioning our fellow commentator, pointing out the level of the opponent. Excellent. Yeah. They're all just numbers. Um, everything's just a number. Obviously, I'm very confused, because this is not something I play every game. This particular strategy. Um, that looks like a shape. If I say it's a shape, is it a shape? Um, hmm. This is so bad. Um, 
Hopefully that doesn't get me killed. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is this... I'm confused by my opponent's play. I am very confused. I guess opening the hole for the opponent's bishop was not my finest play ever. But this looked too interesting to pass by. So I'm going to promote my pawn, and then take these pawns, and then go and checkmate them. Um, unless something causes that plan to change. Hmm... Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm paying attention to the chat window and getting my butt handed to me in the game. It's worth it though, right? Um, debatable whether I'm actually paying attention to the chat window. But hey, we're trying. Whoa, dude. Um, stuff's going on. Okay, yeah, I guess I can't take the pawn, exactly. Um, what in the hell? Nanafun. I'll take my chances with this one. I thought the point of putting the pieces next to your king was to uh, try to avoid getting checkmated. Uh, am I wrong? Is the point that you're supposed to try to get checkmated? Is that what's going on? They have lots of pieces in hand and this is terrifying, but still. We'll do our best. Um, I want to take that. You know I do. If I drop another general, they just fork my pieces. Um... I don't like your bishop. Okay, you got me confused. Um... That didn't take much. Okay, the bishop goes, because my rook's not going to be active anyway. Do you want my rook? They pick the rook instead of the attack. That works for me. Alright, so... They don't have a bishop. They do have a knight. I'm going to do this anyway. The knight drops, and hopefully I'm okay. I'm banking on the fact that my opponent's been moving quickly, very many moves in a row, um, and therefore might have missed something in their extreme haste. It's all a gamble. So they push this pawn, and... I think I'm okay. Maybe there's something going on that I don't see here. Okay. That's a pin.
What's my opponent doing? Oh, I thought I had a gold general. So a pawn drop here, which was my intention. Dropping a pawn here to try to save my king would not actually do that. Well, rook takes... Somehow I, I had read ahead that their rook is beyond the square and it would be their turn with me in check. That's just my level of concern about this, is that uh, while I play off, like, I don't care. Um, actually, I do care. I'm just blind. <laughs> Gofun. So I defend my knight. Oh, I actually defend my pawn too. The, this is the legendary bishop drop that just covers everything in every direction. Um, I haven't seen that before, but it looks awesome. Hmm. The legendary bishop drop of the prophecy. <laughs> All right, so that's a free piece. <laughs> Nothing's free in this world. Um... I just put my bishop on a square where their knight can take it. Uh, this is not good. I've done worse, but this is not good. I feel bad for my opponent. Um... Hmm. Like, clearly they're playing an okay game, but they're also playing very quickly. Maybe I should have pushed here if I were feeling crazy. Um... What am I doing? Can't exactly. This is so bad. What am I doing? Got all four knights because I've been terrified of giving the opponent a knight. Perhaps with good reason. Um.
Hmm, this is not good. Hmm. I get made it up this way too. Oh, I could have taken the knife. Oops. Well, now the opponent's just going to have fun. I can't blame them, but... You know, to each their own. Thanks for the game. Alright, one down. Maybe two to go. The daily reset happens in 30 minutes, so we'll see if I can get two games done before then. Good luck. We might have gone off Joseki at some point. Hmm. Man, this is confusing. <laughs> if I drop the bishop here, both bishops get trapped, and taking the knight is not worth it because their gold defends the knight. Um...
I'm trying to, gonna try to trap the knight. They see the trap. Um, I just don't know what to do. All right, we got a pawn. It's not the end of the universe. Feels pretty bad. Um, Immu level opponent. Yeah, could be. Could be. All right. Uh, this rook is trapped. Nana fun. They have a pawn in hand. Oh, I was just regretting they could take the silver and then drop it here to escape the rook. But thanks for the game. Two games down, one to go. Sorry if there's an echo, by the way. That explosion really startled me. Good luck. I know I calibrated my audio correctly before this game, but I was very stunned by that explosion noise. Um, so maybe my audio is somehow not calibrated correctly, despite me having gone through pains to calibrate it. Um, could be. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh Um Um, man, you know I want to take this and take that. I'll take one move to get my king out of this before, before I uh, decide to commit fully to this madness. Here we go. Madness unlocked. I've played one game before like this, where their rook has open season on my pawns because I've not defended them yet. You might remember that episode better than I do. Um, it was kind of a hot mess. All right. I'll try to defend my king. Oh, the rook's defending the silver, the gold is defending the rook. If I use a bishop to attack this rook, uh, they either defend it or it moves, and if it moves, the silver hangs. So they must... Okay, I'm too curious. Let's just do it, see what happens. No sense theorizing about this. Um... But yeah, the rook seems to be busy 
defending this. So this means they're going to resort to some rook drop or some kind of tactic to try to save this position. Huh. So I get my rook back. Maybe I shouldn't even celebrate because in the opening, bishops tend to be more valuable than rooks. Um, all right, we got the bishop pair. In chess, the bishop pair is kind of cool. In shogi, um, it seems like twice as powerful as it is in chess. Um, since they can cover, they can weave between everything else on the board. The only thing that they can't get through is a pawn. Um, so. All right, this threatens, well, um, I'm not sure what I'm threatening, if anything. I want to push this pawn so I don't get mated by some bishop-knight combination, but it's like if I have this diagonal blocked, it's difficult for the opponent to do something with a bishop and a knight. This bishop here on 6-6 six, six or 4-4 four, four seems pretty cool, even though this silver blocks it. Um, at least... So these rooks are still in a line. There is a saying, don't run from a fork. I don't think there's anything about don't run from a skewer, but the point Not is nothing. that I can only take one of these pieces. This is the one I wanted, not the other one. Um, so their rook cannot promote. Am I diving into a trap if I do this? I don't think so. All right, what's our next proverb? Because another Nimue has appeared is not a proverb. What's our proverb? Cut off the king's escape route. We've accidentally done a halfway decent job at that already. Um, all right, let's take this. Okay. Um... I guess we'll take this too. And the opponent did get to promote. I got two pieces. Um, but they're threatening my gold general, so maybe I should care. Just maybe. Um, they have a pawn in hand. Though their pawn cannot go anywhere. All right, we'll fight back. Um, normally I would move toward the king, but here that doesn't seem necessary. Okay, they offer another pawn. I should take this so that I don't have to break up my shape. That's just 
accidentally a free pawn unless they go back and claim it again. I'm a bit nervous about, well, my bishop covers the rook or dragon. I'm a bit nervous about the king rook fork I, anyway. But um, can't do anything about it right now. So it's fine. Um, it'd be nice if I could. So we've already got this silver wall, and there is a proverb to mend the silver wall. Don't just let it be a permanent weakness. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, I've got a dumb idea. Let's protect my dragon. The dumb idea is dropping a lance to... Okay, so they moved this up. Um... Gofun. The marginally less dumb idea... Um... Tactics are sharp here, man. Like, this bishop moves in a way that's not like a chess bishop. But I think this successfully hits the piece supporting the gold general. Uh, I don't see any shot whereby the gold escapes and the silver escapes and, like, a lot of other things don't happen that are, that would all be bad for me. So I think I get something out of this since these two pieces are both tied down defending each other and this is hitting uh, one of them. Okay, perhaps I'm mistaken. I don't know how to respond to that. Um... This seems like the right way to respond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have taken the bishop and lost the rook. Or I could just go for checkmate. Let's just try to checkmate the opponent. Mm -hmm. That's a resourceful response. I did not anticipate that one. Fine. Our proverb, incidentally, is cut off the king's escape route. So you know what's going to happen, right? The king's going to escape, and we're going to have content. It's not for a lack of effort, it's just I don't have time to figure it out, or I'm misreading things. So, I'm trying to drop... I s oh, okay... I didn't think they would do that. Well played, sir. I'm impressed, honestly. Something.
2分30秒。Thank you. Yeah, we'll take a look.、Uh, whoa, really? Decisions. Decisions, decisions. We've got to promote it.、Um, I think I hit the horse. Probably should have dropped the gold here and taken that. It's okay. I have a second chance now. The damn horse protects back here. So, this isn't actually anywhere near as threatening as it might look. But does not actually look. So. More threatening would be if I did a pawn drop out here.、Um, and then the threatening gold takes pawn mate. Or it's not mate immediately, but it's threatening. This is how you make a threat. They're missing a diagonal piece. So, I'm looking to drop my bishop here and then pawn mate. I stop that. Ippun. Thanks for the game. <laughs>、uh, I read the chat window.
Oh my goodness. Shouldn't have done that. All right. Well, that was good fun, wasn't it? Uh, Lexi mentions he has some things to share. But yeah, my normal outro would be thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.